you're probably at least a little bit flabbergasted to hear that in 2021 there are still quite a few internet cafes out there and if you are from a western country then I can't really blame you but just so you know in Asian countries these businesses are still alive and well. Sort of. Because since the beginning of the whole human malware pandemic, a lot of these companies actually had to shut down their doors and find some more lucrative ways in which they could keep themselves afloat. And I'm obviously talking about pivoting themselves through cryptocurrency mining. And that's why we have started seeing a lot of these pictures from countries like Vietnam and other Asian countries, where we have seen that a lot of internet cafes have essentially turned all of their computers into mining farms. Now, obviously, you you might have noticed that some of these computers are running RTX 30 series GPUs and that might be a total head scratcher to you because obviously some people might get their pitchforks out and ask themselves why are they not just selling those GPUs but I'm going to be giving you two scenarios. First one obviously being selling all of those computers and the RTX 30 series GPUs making money for six months or a year or being able to get themselves into another business or you could pivot yourself to mining you know and making money just to keep yourself afloat or maybe even better than with your whole uh, internet cafe business to essentially do what you wanted to do which one of those scenarios would you much rather pick the first one the second one or would you go with the third scenario which i haven't thought about and definitely let me know in the comments down below because i'm really curious about this whole situation and you guys probably know that we have talked a lot about cryptocurrency mining in the past couple of weeks i guess right now either way right now i would just like to talk to you about nothing and I don't mean nothing, nothing, but the company, nothing. And if you haven't seen the news recently, then let me tell you that the ex OnePlus employee, Carl Pei, decided to um, found the company called Nothing. And right now they don't essentially have any kind of products. And you're probably going to notice why I used that word uh, so kindly. And that's because they have now acquired the company, the now defunct company, should I say, essential and you have probably heard about the essential phone which was nothing but not essential in my opinion and if you would like to read more about this then i'm definitely going to um post a link in the video description down below as well as two other videos from Martin on his uh, Friday checkout channel and also on Tech Altar where you can learn more about nothing and the essential phone and maybe some other things which you guys might want to hear about or maybe that you don't know more about and probably something that you guys don't know about is that the Ryzen 5000 CPUs have been able to hit 5 gigahertz boost clocks and that has been of course thanks to the clock tuner for Horizon 2.1 software, which I recommended you guys uh, get yourselves uh, once it's widely available from the developer One Osmos. But right now, I would also like to point out that you might have seen on Twitter um, a post from Power GPU where he has said that a lot of their Ryzen 5000 CPUs, which they have gotten, were actually dead on arrival. Essentially, they didn't uh, work when they got them, they had some kind of defects. Now, obviously, that tweet has now long been deleted but uh, there are still pictures about that i wanted to um say that right now they're uh, talking to amd to try to see what might have caused all of their uh, issues that they had but there is another thing which i would like to point out which is that mind factory apparently has a feature aside from uh seeing how many cpus or like products in general they've sold and how many people are uh, watching that certain product if you are going to scroll um further down you're probably going to see that they also have an rma quota which means that you can find out how many of these products let's say ryzen 5600x cpus have actually been sent back for an rma which i personally find to be really cool because that way you can probably see how many um, of these products which you are interested in buying are defective most of the time and i guess you could also be doing that with uh, the amazon warehouse uh, program where you can see how many 
uh, products have essentially been sent back to their company and that's why you can get them on a deal and all of that. I really recommend that you guys check out both Mind Factory and Amazon in that sense whenever you're buying any kind of products, not just the Ryzen 5000 CPUs. But I really think that this has been more of their issue, but obviously we're going to learn more about that in the upcoming days, weeks, or maybe never. And you guys might have also seen that yesterday I made a community post where I told you that the RTX 3060 GPUs are going to be launching on the 25th of February at 3 p.m. Central European Standard Time. And I also asked you guys, how many do you think that these RTX 3060 GPUs are going to be selling for the MSRP, which is 329 US dollars or euros? Obviously, a lot of you guys have said that you don't really believe that this card is going to sell for that money, but we are going to find out more about that on the 25th of February where I would really like to wish you a lot of luck because it kind of seems that <laughs> if you are going to want to get yourself an RTX 3060 GPU then you're most probably going to have to pay as much as you would pay for an RTX 3060 Ti or RTX 3070 and that is definitely sad, annoying and insert any other uh, adjectives which you might have out there. Either way, let me know what you think about this whole situation and all of those things which we have covered in this video and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.